Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Uchan. This presentation is prepared for University of Sajin Assens program, uh, but I want to share this one for all of you. And this is an introduction to time series analysis, but I'm trying to give a funny, uh, funny version of this uh, time series analysis to understand uh, the old things, maybe for the introduction. Now, our content is like that. <clears throat> First of all, uh, we are trying to find the answer for when do we use time series analysis? Then uh, next question is what does stationary means? Stationary means. Next is unit root the same as stationary? Stationary. Then is integration integration level of one or level uh, whatever integration level are the same as unit root or stationary things then we are trying to find the answer of what can we do when we have variables stationary on the level next what can we do when we have variables stationary at the first differences then the stationary on the level means i zero you know and Station on the at the first differences means I one. So next question is, what can we do when we have dependent variable is I one and independent ones are mixed? That means I one or I zero. So what can we do at that time? And last question is, what can we do when we have variables dependent one is I zero and independent variables are I one or I zero mixed? Now, uh, let's find the answer for these questions. Okay. Uh, first of all, the first question you remember, uh, when do we use time series analysis? If we have a country, if we have a country like that, and a firm or a person, one of them, a country, a firm, or a person. And if we have again plus, plus, we have again a period like 30 years or 120 quarters. Uh, these are same, according to you know, uh, 30 multiplied by four, so 120 quarters here, you see. So if we have one of them, one of them, one of the D's, a country, a firm, and a person, and a period. So together of these, we have time series analysis. If we have more than a country and a firm or a person and some period, so we may get, we may get, you know, panel data analysis. Okay. Now, what does stationary means? For the formal definition, a stationary process has the property that the mean, variance, and the correlation structure do not change over time. Do not change over time. I think this is clear, but graphically, graphically, we may understand better this one. Uh, stationarity can be defined in precise mathematical terms, but for our purpose, we mean a flat looking series without trend, without trend, constant variance over time, a constant autocorrelation structure over time, and no periodic fluctuations. I mean seasonality. What does it mean? Here, it means like that. It means like that. If we have intercept term, we may have no trend, no constant variable over time, or a constant autocorrelation, and a no fluctuation seasonality. This is stationary means. And if we have no intercept term again, we may start from zero origin, and we may again like that. These are all stationary, stationary on the level. And informal definition, uh, I try to give this definition. This is this is our uh, this is these definitions are mine. If a variable has no relation, has no relation with its difference data. This is stationary. 
if a variable has no relation with in uh, difference data. I mean xt with xt minus one and xt with xt minus two. Is the root root same as stationary? If a variable doesn't have a relation with its first difference, it means it is stationary. Okay. If a variable has a relation with its first difference, this means it has a unit root. And if it has a unit root, it may be I1 or I2 or whatever. But if a variable doesn't have a relation with its first difference, this means it is stationary. So if a seri or a variable is stationary, this means it is stationary on the level and I0. Now, funny one coming. And I think that you may remember these things easily uh, with these things. Say xt is you and xt t minus one is your parent. What is x, xt minus one? Is that of one period before of xt? This xt is you and one period before is your uh, father uh, and maybe dad and mom, dad and mom, yeah. Xt minus two is your grandparent, your grandma and grandpa. So uh, if Xt is you and two period before, one period before is your parent and two period before is your grandparents. So if I say stationary, this means it has no relation with its differences. Okay, we, are, we understand these things. So what is, if we have no relation and we are dependent, not dependent uh, with our parent or your grandparent, this is, we are free, independent from your parents and grandparents for um, planning anything, planning anything. So again, funny things is to remember, if you are free, independent from your parents or grand ones, that means you are I0. I0 means integrated on the level. Don't forget this one. Don't forget. If you are not free from your parents, that is you decide anything via your parents' thoughts. That means you are I1, so you are dependent to your parents. This I1 means integrated on the first differences. Okay, if you are not free from your grandparent, that, that is you decide anything via your grandparent toes, that means you are I2. Again, I2 means integrated on the second differences. Okay, these are fine things, but I think you may remember these integrated on level or the first differences and the second differences, or maybe uh, stationary on the level or stationary on the first at the first differences maybe understandable uh, easily. Now, what can we do when we have variables stationary on the level? Easily, formal case, you may say that if we have two or more stationary variables on the level, we may use short-term analysis such as ordinary least square or vector autoregression. With ordinary least square, we may have coefficients of the variables. We get coefficients of variables, these are B0, B1, B2 in this equation. So we can find these things, these coefficients. And so we may also find coefficient of determination. I mean, R square, what is R square? How much independent variables explain the dependent variable? This explanation gives R square, coefficient of determination. We also know, I know from the econometrics lectures, uh, R square is between zero and one. Again, uh, they may be like that. They are equal and uh, on this uh, period like that. And vector autoregression model, vector autoregression model, we may also find uh, different results. What can we find? Uh, we can also do the tests to find these results. Impulse response analysis, Variance decomposition, causality relationship, maybe Granger, Todayamamato, whatever, and structural break tests. These are the formal case results. Now, this is funny one, short analysis. Uh, you see here, let's say a girl and a boy are stationary on the level. I mean, 
girl is I zero and a boy is I zero. Uh, try to remember that uh, they have short run analysis because uh, they are stationary on the level. Now they are walking here on the first picture, they are walking and crashed here. And finally, books are books are on the floor. So, so what happens? This may be a short run relationship. Maybe you may remember easily, it's a date, only a date between, between these two. So if they are both I zero, this is a short run relationship. Now, what can we do when we have variables stationary on the first differences? Formal case, again, if we have two or more stationary variables on the first difference, we may use long run analysis. Long run analysis means in econometrics is cointegration. For the long run analysis, mostly you may remember from the EVOs, economic views, Johansson and Euselius 1992 cointegration analysis is mostly used. In this analysis, we have uh, two tests, two tests, maximum eigenvalue test and trace test. We are using two of them uh, for the cointegration analysis result. Now this one is, and again, a funny things. In this informal case, let's say a girl, a boy, and a boy are stationary on the first difference. This means girl I1, boy I1. From the last presentation, you may remember that if we have both I1, they have long run relationship. What is long run relationship? Now here there's an engagement. You see uh, the rings are on their finger and here are the coffees and uh, you see this is engagement, engagement of them. So they are fancy, uh, this boy and this girl. So finally, a long run relationship is the marriage. Yeah, you may remember easily uh, from this picture sighting. Now, what can we do when we have dependent variable is I1 and dependent ones are I1 or I0? In this case, the possible applied analysis is autoregressive distributed lag. We may get both long run and short run results here. Long run and short run results. And this one, uh, at this time, in this model, we have possibly time difference values of the dependent and independent variables at the right side. What does it mean? Such as if we have ARDL 1, 1, or 1, 2, maybe, 1, 2. What does it mean? This is, this says, and this one is dependent variable has one difference value and independent variable has two difference value. What I mean, this one, we have this function yx and finally yt is equal to alpha zero plus alpha one uh, y t minus one. This t minus one means this one and alpha two x three, alpha three x t minus one and alpha four x t minus two. This t minus two means this two. So this is ARDL model. So here we can also find long run relationship and short run relationship maybe from vector uh, error correction model, maybe. And uh, last one, uh, I think last, not last one, maybe last one. What can we do when we have variables? Dependent variable is I0 and independent variables are I1 or I0. Now here, we couldn't have, we couldn't have ARDL because dependent variable is not I1, they are, mixed, depend, independence were mixed, but independent uh, dependent one, not I1. So this one is I0. So we have to take the differences of I1, I1, uh, independent variables, I1 of independent variables. So we get, let's say Y is I0 and XT is I1. 
xt1 and xt2 is i0. So we have to take this difference of xt1. So if we take the difference of xt1, so we get i0 of this one. And we know that y is dependent variable is i0 and xt2 is i0. So you may remember from the case, this case from the presentation, first presentation maybe, and what does it say here? If we have all I zero, all I zero, you see all I zero, we have ordinary least square. Where is my pencil? Right here. Ordinary, sorry. Ordinary least square or vector autoregression model. There's a problem with my pen. So, okay, I think. So, uh, at this time, at this situation, I0, I0, I0. So, we may do ordinary least square, ordinary least square, or vector autoregression model. So, finally, we, we can find the impulse response analysis. We can find and take the results of the impulse response analysis, causal relationship, variance decomposition, and structural break test at the end. Thanks for your listening for detailed information. Um, you may look Dr. Richen, Jean Richen YouTube uh, account. So thanks for your listening. Uh, the next presentations uh, will be soon.